So can you tell me about this module that's being made for Aptera and like what these two types of bonding the cells are like? Uh, so uh, first, I would like to explain to you that uh, this uh, is very similar to the original module that Aptera, Aptera had. Uh, this is not the exact module that goes into the Aptera vehicle. What's a bit different is the bridge here is actually removed. The point being is in order for, so these are the two types of bonding. We have the ultrasonic and the wire bonding process that's been done. Um, so during the process, um, the bonding machine needs to go down and out and put it into the bus bar here, just like how it's done like that. Uh, this is done through pattern recognition that's embedded into the equipment. Um, uh, we need to remove the bridge here because the uh, bonding equipment at the tip, it needs, um, I think, around 2.5 millimeter of space. And if it doesn't have that amount of space, it might search circuit when it touches the edge of the cell right here. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, uh, things I can explain to you is right now, this is stainless steel for exhibition, exhibition purposes. Uh, you can see that it will be connected to the liquid cooling that the VFTR would have. Um, the design at the uh, at the bottom cooling plate will still be the same, but the material will be aluminum instead of uh, stainless steel. And um, the actual uh, module that goes into the Aptera has, I think, eight holes for the thermal sensors for the batteries and also the MIB, um, which basically is a circuit board that the CPU embedded in it and the BMS software. So with that, they'll be able to tell the temperature of the battery just to make sure. And also at the same time, using the firmware of how they're gonna manage the six modules that goes into the Aptera. So okay. you have one frame, one big battery uh, frame that's made out of metal at the bottom of the Aptera. And then six of this will be um, put inside those frames. Okay. Yeah. And then, and is, this is kind of showing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is a naked version of the module. Um, what's a bit different from the old module and the and the, and then the module that goes into the actual Terra is uh, we actually have a special design inside um, that holds, uh, that provides more security for the cells. So there's less disp displacement okay. in terms of vibration, whether it's during the bonding process or during the operation of the vehicle. Um, and then we also, uh, so we have the adhesive, uh, no, we have the cooling plate and then the adhesive on top and then the, the cell holder and then the cell holder actually, the, the platform is like this, but the cell goes onto here per okay. se. And as you can tell, this much of space will allow the cells to not move. That's what gives it additional security for the cells. Okay. On top of that, we are going to be pouring um, um, a foam-like liquid. So after the liquid has been poured, um, after an hour or so, it starts to foam up and harden. That will keep um, the the cells in place and at the same time make sure there's space between the cells so they don't touch each other. Okay. And Great. yeah, and after the uh, bonding process has been done, we're going to layer it up with the foam again so that the bonding, the wire bond will not be, um, you know, prone to any damage. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is amazing work you guys have done. It's Thank you. Exciting step with the signing agreement yesterday. Yeah. So LG. For, LG or, and you yeah. guys. So you guys are building these. Yeah. I'll just these packs. To clarify. Uh, um, this is dummy cell. So yeah. I'm not so sure if this is similar to the LG cell. I uh -huh. think this are this is a bit bigger and a bit thinner on the outer skirts. So, okay. uh, yeah. That's great. Thank you so much for the information. It's a uh, exciting time to be an Aptera fan and to see this up close for the first time. It's, it's really stunning. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. Thank you.